I just returned from the store and I picked up our wood for the glue laminating part of our frame. I was having kind of a hard time deciding which wood I wanted to go with. I was trying to choose between pine or redwood. When I went to the store, I actually saw wood lath that was already cut pretty close to the size we need. It was actually a little bit skinnier and the quality of the wood really wasn't good at all. So then I looked at the pine because whatever I bought, I'm going to have to cut up into little slats anyway so that we can form it when we do our glue laminating. And I looked at the pine and it was full of knots and it was heavy and I just didn't really find the good quality in that. So I found this. It's redwood. Um, the pieces are nice and straight. They are pretty much sanded on every side and there aren't any knots in it. And that's what kind of helped me make the choice to go ahead and buy redwood again because of its straightness, its cleanliness, and its light. The next phase we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up the shop. So we're gonna set up the saw and we're gonna cut these two by twos into quarter inch slats. We've cut our first two pieces that gives us a pretty good bend on it. I thought we was going to be able to do a quarter inch, but it turns out we're going to have to do three sixteenths of an inch cuts in order for this to do this tight bend over here on this end. This is our tightest bend right down in here. And if it can do that, then I think we're good the rest of the way. Now we just have to cut up something like 600 feet of this. No, 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 no. It was 600 inches per each one. So 600 times five, 3,000. We have to cut up a lot of this. So we're going to go ahead and keep going with our cuts. Well, that is that. Wow. Let me just undo this for a minute. Okay. So, have, we have cut 75 pieces of wood at 96 inches each. That equals 7,200 inches or 600 feet of wood. Just went through this table saw over the last, oh, hour or two. So what we have is, let me just take you over here to our little diagram. We'll go over here. All right. So we have cut all the wood for this arch, the center arch, and the outside arch. And that's all we're gonna do for glue laminating. The other things here will be solid wood. Um, one other thing, we did not cut the laminated pieces for our hatch back here, but we'll go ahead and keep the forms and we'll cut those later when we're actually redoing the hatch. The other thing I wanted to point out, you know, I spent a lot of money on our wood and unfortunately a lot of it's right there under the table saw. I didn't know any other way to do it, but I had to cut our wood into strips so that we can bend it around our curves. All right, let's get on to the next phase. And that next phase is going to be making the mold. And I'll explain that more when we get to that phase. Having just cut all of our strips, we're now ready to glue them all up. But before that, and before we build our our mold, which will hold all our pieces in place while they dry. I just wanted to give a final size of what our beam will be. The original plans call for one and an eighth 
high by one and an eighth inch thick. That was what the original plan was. Our new beams will now be just under one and a half inches wide and just under two inches thick. I think this will be plenty strong. So we'll go ahead and get to our mold making. And thanks for joining us here at Fern the Fan. We've had a pretty good day making all the sawdust and a bunch of noise. I think it's going to be a great beam.